Governor Kay Ivey's mask order. So that's right, Meemaw is at it again. She hasn't shut the state down, but she has issued a mandatory mask uh, order that is now part of the safer at home orders that she issued earlier. So basically it's a revised version of that that includes mandatory mask procedures. Now we could get into the weeds on this. We could talk about how ridiculous it is, for example, that even if you're outside, if you're not able to stay six feet away from people in the blazing hot 98 degree Alabama sun, that there's a chance that you're going to get the virus. I mean, Basically, you'd have to be almost making out with a person in order to get the virus from them in that those kinds of conditions, mask or no mask. So, yes, there is some levels of ridiculous there. And of course, me being more of a libertarian minded person, I automatically default to the maximum level of freedom and the maximum level of responsibility that comes with that freedom. But the thing is, I really don't want to get into that debate now because I think it's the wrong debate that everybody is having. Uh, everybody's arguing whether or not the mask thing is a good idea or a bad idea, which, by the way, is also hilarious because most of these people don't even know the provisions that are included in the actual order that was given by KIV and, and aren't discussing the actual fine points of it and whether or not it's reasonable or unreasonable. First of all, before I get into all that, let me say the science is all over the place on this one. Uh, a lot of people are accusing both sides. It's funny, both sides are accusing one uh, each other of not going by the science. Well, the truth is, when it comes to masks, there's a lot of studies that say that masks do make a significant difference, and there's just as many studies that say that they don't, at least with this one particular virus. And so, you, really, that's kind of a moot point right now because we know so little about this virus. We haven't had time to really do enough comprehensive studies, enough peer-reviewed studies to, to really know exactly what effect the mask has now. And so because of that, everyone is having this argument about, do the mask work? Do the mask not work? That's the wrong argument to be having, especially with this particular mask ordinance. Maybe that is the argument to be having in other states, but in this state, it definitely isn't because of the way that Governor Ivey implemented it. Because the thing is, Governor Ivey has absolutely no power to enforce this. This is an illegal action that our governor has taken that is not in compliance with the state constitution of Alabama or our state laws. And that is the bigger issue. Whether or not you agree with the mask, whether or not you think everything in it is a good idea, whether you think that maybe even K. Ivey didn't even go far enough and we should be wearing full-on hazmat suits... <laughs> and uh, quarantining in place for the next 18 months, even if you're in that camp, you can't argue that this was a legal action taken by the governor. It simply is not. And just to illustrate my point here, let's go ahead and look at at least a part of Governor Kay Ivey's order here. So you can see, if you look at this highlighted section down here at the bottom, this is where Kay Ivey basically asserts that she has the authority to do this. And you'll see that the one that she cites there is Alabama Code 22-2-2 authorizes the state health officer on behalf of the State Board of Health to direct that conditions prejudicial to health in public places within the state be abated. Hmm, that's really interesting that Kay Ivey is using that as the justification for this order because I decided let's do our homework here and check and see if that actually is what that law says. And this is what I found. You can go and, and this is actually the part of the state code that Governor Ivey is citing saying that this gives me the authority to implement the statewide mask mandate. So you'll read there, it says, the State Board of Health shall have authority and jurisdiction to inspect all schools, hospitals, asylum, jails, and then it just goes on to list a whole bunch of other places that they can uh, inspect and, and look at, and then it goes on, and other places of like character, and whenever in sanitary conditions in any of these places, institutions or establishments or conditions prejudicial to the health or likely to become so are found, proper steps shall be taken by the proper authorities to have such conditions corrected or abated. 
what about that authorizes a mandatory mask? Maybe some of my lawyer friends can explain how any of that comes anywhere within the same universe of the governor can issue a mandatory mask uh, ordinance that covers the entire state, even public places that are not indoors, even public places that are just like parks that are not even in a building. What that law was designed to do is to do things like have a health score at your restaurant. That the governor does have the authority to, if there is some report that there is a restaurant or some place that serves the public interest that is creating a public health crisis, they are able to go into that specific store, check it out, and if it is a problem, put a stop to it or, or correct it in some way. There is absolutely no sane person that would read that law and say, oh, what this means is that the governor can put out a blanket order over every citizen in the state to wear a mask when they're in public. Evil Knievel could not make that leap. And yet this is Governor Ivey saying, nope, that's the law that authorizes me to do that. This is about ins <laughs> inspecting school cafeterias and asylums and restaurants. This is kind of the same thing. In fact, I think it's actually worse than the example I'm about to give. But this is kind of the same thing as people looking at the, the Patriot Act or um, looking, well, we'll just go straight to the Fourth Amendment here, uh, looking at that and saying, yeah, well, yet the Constitution says that we have to, if we suspect somebody of a crime, that there has to be reasonable suspicion. We have to show up at their door with a warrant and we have to actually say what we're looking for. There has to be a name on that warrant. Uh, there has to be an actual suspect and, and all of that stuff. And they said uh, when it came to things like the Patriot Act, yeah, we can just kind of check everything. We can tap every phone in the country and just start a fishing ex expedition to try to find crimes. The name on one of the warrants that I was talking about there in that example, the name on the warrant was Verizon. Even though they weren't suspecting Verizon of a crime, they were just looking into Verizon's records and trying to find crimes based on the data that they collected from them. That's the same kind of ridiculous level of government overreach. Governor Ivey just made this power to create a mandatory mask uh, ordinance for the entire state out of whole cloth. And that's the only law that she could come up with that had some semblance of some authority to be able to do this. Now, if Governor Ivey wants to have her staff go into literally every public building and space in the entire state, inspect it, and see that there are not people wearing masks and say, okay, you're now required to wear a mask here, and do that one by one in literally every single public space in the state, okay, she's within her authority to do so. But she cannot, without inspecting it, just say, this is a public danger, you all have to do this. Can't do it. That is not something the state of Alabama allows for her to do. And what's even worse than that is that this ordinance also violates current state law. So it's not just that she doesn't have the authority to implement this new ordinance. She's also in violation of current standing Alabama law in order to do so. This is another Alabama state law that you can look here. This is part of the state code. And it says, a person commits the crime of loitering if he, and then it says, being masked, loiters, remains, or congregates in a public place. So in other words, it's actually illegal in the state of Alabama to be wearing a mask in a public place. You are committing the crime according to our state laws of loitering. Now, personally, I think that's dumb. I'm just going to be completely frank and upfront about that. I think that that is a stupid law. In fact, this came up, uh, what was it, about a year ago when we had that shooting in the Birmingham Mall and there was a guy that was protesting afterward that had a mask on and they arrested him because he had a mask on. I said then, this is a stupid law. But even though I don't like the law itself, it is indeed a law on the books in the state of Alabama. And so not only is Governor Ivey actually doing something she has no authority to do, on top of that, the thing that she is doing actually violates the current standing state law. Now, 
if Governor Ivey does want to do this, if she thinks that this is an actual public crisis, and I think you could make a compelling case for that, and that the mandatory mask need to be implemented, I think you're wrong on that. But if you believe that that is the case, there is a right way to do it. And the way to do it is to call an emergency session of the legislature. You could do this within a couple of days and then have them all come back, congregate, discuss this, vote on it, pass it in the House, pass it in the Senate, put it on Kay Ivey's desk, and then she can sign it into law. Now, they'd also have to include in that law to repeal this other law that prohibits masks that I'm talking about. That would have to be a part of it in order for there to not be a conflict there. But the point is, there is a correct way to do it, and Governor Ivey is, of course, aware of the correct way to do it, but essentially just said, screw it, I'm going to make up my own powers and just, you know, make up crap as I go along. It's one of the most insane things I have ever seen. So there is a right way to do this. I disagree with the mask ordinance itself. I think that should be a personal choice, a personal decision. But even if you don't agree with that, even if you think the mask ordinance should be put into effect, you can still say, but Governor Ivey needs to do it the right way and sort of just, instead of just making up imaginary powers of the governor and then acting upon them. That's not something that our governor is allowed to do. My mother always said if you can't say something nice about somebody, then you're probably talking about a leftist. Nah, I kid. But seriously, it would really help me out if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm sure my mom would appreciate it.